And her success story is an absolute inspiration to anybody wanting to better themselves. Less than 10 years ago, she was a single mum and going nowhere, a mortgage to pay and no prospects. But the one thing she did have going for her was her will to succeed. And so began a rise from Struggle Street to Adelaide property mogul. Fassel Melandris reports. There's a risk in everything you do in life. Getting up in the morning is a risk. Um, I think you just have to be careful, of, you know, to know your risk profile. Sometimes the more risk you take, the more profits you make. Meet Sally Cooper, mother of four, grandmother of three, property owner of 60. That's six, zero. There's so many ways you can do it. You're only limited by your imagination. And if you think you can't, you can't. But if you think you can, you can. But wind the clock back nine years and you'd hardly believe Sally, a widowed single mum going door to door selling insurance and struggling to pay the mortgage, was the same woman. My father was an alcoholic. I had a bad marriage, a violent husband, and I had almost no assets. I had that little old house in Green Acres, but really nothing else. And I'd been working very, very hard for a long time to raise my kids. And, uh, you know, we'd had re relatively good lifestyle. But I, I thought that my future looked a bit bleak. However, Sally always had a burning desire to be successful. And so began her extraordinary journey from rags to riches. Keep in touch. Thanks, Joanne. The first thing I did was read Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And I read about how you could get enough rent to pay your mortgage and leave some over. So um, I had a client that had told me about some of these cheap houses out in Elizabeth. Eventually, she conquered her fear to invest in property. This is the very first investment property I ever bought in Elizabeth Park. It was $32,000 and I was terrified. I had a fabulous tenant. Um, the rent when I started was uh, $400 a month and the mortgage was $200 a month, so I was flying. Now that little masonette is worth about $180,000. But in the meantime, Sally had more houses in her sights and not just in Adelaide's northern suburbs. And then I went on to Port Augusta and people would say to me, why are you investing in those places? But there was money there. From Adelaide to Port Augusta, sunny Queensland to New Zealand, and even as far as Las Vegas, USA. Once I got a good bank that, um, you know, I had a good record worth and I was reliable, then they would lend me very often 100% of the money to buy these properties. Is it an obsession? Probably was for a while. Um, I've got it under control. <laughs> now the humble Nana from Enfield features on property magazine covers and speaks at seminars all over the country. Wouldn't you rather keep these secrets of the trade to yourself? There's no secrets. There's enough for everybody. You know, I love to see people get out there and do something. I've helped so many people to get their first property and they're just so happy about it. It's that passion and enthusiasm to help others which inspired Sally to write a book. It's called Real Estate Adventures. I didn't want it to be another technical book on how to do real estate. There's a lot of them about. I wanted it to be a fun book. It's got pictures and sketches and it's quite entertaining in parts. It's an easy read. You can read it in one or two sittings. So people have said they've um, been inspired by it. I was happy with that. Inspiration is one thing, but how do you go about doing it yourself? I would say to people, never say, I can't afford it. Say. How can I afford it? Start looking for ways. Find a joint venture partner. You know, if your parents have got equity in their home, ask them if they'll stand by you and help you. And now is a very good time to buy. The outlook for 2009 in South Australia is fantastic. Leah Cox from Urban Tech Finance offers free advice and brokering services for Adelaide families trying to get ahead or get wealthy. And unlike some other companies, there's no hidden fees or charges. We have a range of clients who earn you know, big dollars and, and are just starting their, to build their property portfolio. But we have other clients who literally have you know, the humble job, two kids, and have five or six properties. So it definitely is achievable if you have a plan and you stick to it and you know, try not to take on too much risk, but you buy within your means, buy what you can afford, and hold on to it. And if rents are going up and you've got the property now, then you can continue to slowly build that portfolio. At what point do you stop and say, right, that's enough properties, I'm quite happy with my lot? <laughs> 
Well, we're pretty much at that point. But having said that, you know, if something really good comes up, it's a bit hard to resist. So what's the next venture for Sally Cooper and her partner Alex? Alex and I and some other friends are going on a trip to the Antarctic at the end of this year. Um, now you can't buy property there. Oh no, <laughs> that's just a holiday. As for her four children, well they're all on their way to following in their property mogul mum's footsteps. I'm very proud of them. They all have their own businesses, they're four children, and they all have investment properties. The oldest two are in New Zealand. And of course now you have the flexibility to see them whenever you want. Well money does tend to do that for you, doesn't it? She certainly is an inspiration to others. And remember, those who say money can't buy happiness just don't know where to shop. Sally's book, Real Estate Adventures, can be purchased from all leading bookstores. And we'll be back with more very soon. If you had the chance to tell an ex...